This demo will showcase our Salesforce to Salesforce Contact Bidirectional Sync template. Bidirectional Sync is the act of uniting two or more data sets in two or more different systems to behave as one system that recognizes the existence of different data sets. This type of integration is useful when optimizing organizational processes, reducing the compound cost of manually addressing inconsistencies, aligning to reality data representations in different systems, and many more. In this video, I will show you an example of an organization that utilizes this template to synchronize its contacts between two Salesforce instances in real time. Right now, let's see how everything works. Here inside of our Salesforce instance in Org A, we can see a contact named Bar Tim. Let's go ahead and change the name for that contact from Tim to Timothy. Then, when we go to our Salesforce instance in Org B and refresh the page, we can see that the name for that contact was updated as well. And if we take the same contact and change the name back to Tim in our Salesforce instance in Org B, this change will be reflected in our Salesforce instance in Org A accordingly. Now, let's create a new account. We will fill up a first name and a last name, add the contact and the email address. Then, when we go to our Salesforce instance in Org B, we can see that the contact was created there as well and is linked to its parent account. Now, let's move from the user experience to AnyPoint Studio, our graphical design environment for the AnyPoint platform, and see what's powering this integration. Here we see our template, which leverages best practices for integration with Salesforce and makes this integration possible in minutes. This template has already been downloaded from our library, where all of our templates can be found. As we look at the endpoints file, we can see two flows that pull contacts from two Salesforce instances. To ensure integrity, in both flows we have an expression component that uses a lock to only allow one-way synchronization at a time. Then, when we go to the business logic file, we can see that both flows use a batch module to make the act of moving a large set of data easier and more transparent. In the first flow, data flows from a Salesforce instance in Org A to a Salesforce instance in Org B, and in the second, it flows in an opposite direction. When we look at the first flow, we will find a Salesforce connector that queries contacts from our Salesforce instance in Org B matching them with each record retrieved from a Salesforce instance in Org A by name. Next, for all contacts that have an account, we check if that account exists in the destination Salesforce instance, and if it doesn't, we create a new one. So then, we can link a contact to that account. Then, we upsert the information into our Salesforce instance in Org B, which means that we either update an existing record or create a new one. The last step that we do, we release the lock so the second flow can be triggered. Now that we know what stands behind this integration, everything we have to do to make it work is to list our Salesforce credentials in the properties file and run the application. From here, we can modify and extend this template to more specifically meet our needs. Today, we've shown you our Salesforce to Salesforce contact bidirectional sync template and synchronized contacts between two Salesforce instances. To find out more about the template, follow the View Documentation link on the template's detail page. Give the template a try, and if you have any questions or feedback, please send it to info at mulesoft.com. Thank you.